Mortal Kombat 11 has made a big shift in gameplay since Mortal Kombat X. The developers have made a conscious decision to have the game focus more on fundamental play. But some wonder, just how deep is Mortal Kombat 11's new footsie and gameplay system? How much depth can this new system reach for players that are willing to take it to the next level? While on the surface MK11 might look like it's been simplified, on closer inspection, the gameplay has gotten way deeper. Not only that, but it's doing it in a way that no other 2D fighter ever has. A system that'll feel familiar, but be unique to anything else out there right now. And it revolves around this. The basis of Mortal Kombat 11's offense. The evolution of Mortal Kombat's combat. It looks styling, but I, I don't get it. Okay, walking back and whiff punishing isn't anything new to fighting games. But let me explain what this means for Mortal Kombat 11. First, let me explain why you could force pokes to whiff like this at close range, and why it's so good. In Mortal Kombat 11, there are certain attacks that if blocked, leave the attacker at only a very small disadvantage. These extremely safe moves could be used to set up what I'll be referring to in this video as the poke war. Don't poke me, I'm telling If you space these safe moves to about the max range of your defender's fastest poke, and if you predict your opponent will do this fast poke at in retaliation, you could walk backwards and force their poke to whiff so you could go for a BP whiff punish starting with a far reaching mid or low attack. The more advantage you have, the closer you could be to the defender and still safely walk back out of their fast attack range. In Mortal Kombat 11, the fastest moves in the game end up being crouching down ones and high standing one and standing twos. This walkback option will discourage them from wanting to attempt to throw out their short range fast attacks because they'll fear getting whiff punished. They'd have to attempt a slightly slower but further reaching move to catch the opponent walking backwards. There are two key things that make MK11's footsie game unlike something that you would see in Street Fighter. One, in Mortal Kombat high attacks whiff on their crouching attacks and crouching without blocking. And two, in Street Fighter, you're blocking while you're walking backwards, as opposed to Mortal Kombat where you have to commit to pressing a block button. This means that if the attacker has committed to walking backwards after their extremely safe move has been blocked, anything that reaches far enough will end up nailing them. This brings us to our second option you could do while in slight disadvantage in the poke war. If you predict that your opponent will go for a slower but further reaching attack to catch your walk back, you could go for a short range poke or jab of your own. Okay, I've been holding it until now, but I think it's time to talk about some frame data. Ugh, no, seriously? Now, frame data may intimidate some players, but it's actually quite simple in application. Just think of a flipbook with pages instead of frames. If a move takes 10 frames to execute, it's the equivalent of flipping 10 pages. Frames are a measure of time, how much time it takes for your move to come out. In Mortal Kombat 11, the average startup for any character's fastest move ends up being around 6 to 8 frames. These moves tend to be down ones, which are crouching attacks, and standing one and standing twos, which are high attacks. The startup for forward advancing or ranged moves averages from about 12 to 15 frames. So here's a scenario. The attacker goes for an extremely safe move that is only negative one on block. The defender blocks, then suspects the attacker will go for a walk back to bait out one of his fast pokes. The defender then goes for a 14 frame longer range move. But instead of walking backwards, the attacker goes for his own 7 frame standing one that leads into a hit confirm for beefy damage. Because the attacker was only at negative 1 on block, even with the added frame of disadvantage, the 7 frame attack will end up stuffing out the defender's 14 frame attack clean. This scenario sounds incredible for the attacker, but there is one universal option the defender could use to catch walkback that won't put them in as much danger, and that would be down 4. Similar to forward advancing moves, down 4s start up at an average of about 11 to 15 frames and have a bit of range to them. 
downed fours are crouching attacks, so they will end up ducking under high attacks like fast and hit confirmable standing one and standing twos. The fastest mid attacks in the game outside of down ones on average are 11 to 15 frames. This means that if you as a defender want to retaliate with a down four, the only thing the attacker can do to nail you while they're at negative one is a down one, an attack that barely does any damage. If you want to go for something a little bit more damaging to catch the opponent's walk back, you'll have to risk going for a standing forward advancing move that might leave you more open. It's not all about pokes and walking backwards though. There is another option to add into the poke war, and that's the jump over. Jump in punches leave the attacker at heavy advantage on block, so even if the opponent recovers from their attack on the ground in time, they will have to block once more and the attacker could have their way. One of the best ways a defender could stop an attacker at slight disadvantage that is planning on jumping over is to go for a standing 1 or standing 2, so it's good not to completely rule those standing options out. At this heavy advantage on block, the attacker could go for a grab, a mix-up, or another extremely safe on block move that sets up the poke war again where the defender must guess if the attacker is going to walk backwards, go for a fast attack, or jump over. All of these poke war options have stemmed from the attacker using one of these setup moves that has put them at a slight disadvantage on block. I don't know about you guys, but personally, this wheel of options is amazing. As someone who has closely followed NRS since their jump into the competitive fighting game space with MK9, I have to say I'm extremely, overwhelmingly proud of how far they've come. If the game is balanced correctly, Mortal Kombat 11 is going to remain something very special to the fighting game community for a long time. Something unique on its own and beautiful in its own right. While it might be naive not to acknowledge that some people will miss the fast-paced chaotic action of MKX, I just want to remind the naysayers that while you might not know it now, mental chess could be as hype as anything you've ever seen. From the Manatee County Fair, Linda Carson, ABC7, would you not eat my pants? Ah!